Hello, Evangel Church. It is Good Friday. We could not let this day go by without spending a little bit of time in worship. Um, and we know each of you are in your own homes on this Good Friday. We're not able to get together in our own building, um, but we decided we wanted to go ahead and get together here online so that we could worship together as a family and remember um, this amazing season that we're in, remember and honor this amazing day, the day that our Lord and Savior laid down his life for us. And, you know, here we are, I'm in my living room, um, and I just want to spend a little bit of time in worship with you guys, okay? All right. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, oh my soul, worship his holy Oh 
Jesus washes me. Oh, the blood of Jesus shed for me. What a sacrifice that saved my life. Yes, the blood, it is my victory. Amen. And that's why we're celebrating tonight because the blood of Jesus is our victory. Amen. i 
Good evening. We're so glad you joined us tonight on Good Friday, the night that we celebrate what Christ did for us on Calvary. Uh, I want to read a scripture to you from 1 Corinthians, the 11th chapter, and the 23rd verse. Paul, writing to the church of Corinth, says this, For I received from the Lord that which I also delivered to you, that the, that the Lord Jesus, on the same night which in which he was betrayed, took bread, and when he had given things, he broke it and said, um, Take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same manner, he also took the cup after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. This do as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death till he comes. Amen. Jesus had gathered with his disciples mm. to celebrate the Passover dinner. This dinner was a tradition um, set up in Israel and with the Jewish people that they celebrated the night that God set them free from Egypt. It was the night that the death angel had passed through. And after the plagues, the, this was the last one. And the Bible said that they was to take a lamb and they was to slaughter the lamb and drain all the blood out right. and then take the blood and apply it to the doorpost uh, of the door, to each side and above the door. Right. Anybody on the inside, inside the door, inside the house where the blood was, was safe. Amen. And that night the death angel would pass by. And if you did not have blood on the doorpost, the death angel would come in and would kill the firstborn of that household. But you got to understand this. If the blood was on the doorpost, which was the entryway into the house, the death angel couldn't come in because he couldn't pass the blood. He couldn't go beyond the blood. Amen. Aren't you glad that nothing can get through the Amen. blood to get us if the blood has been applied? Amen. And so they're having the dinner, and at the dinner... They are to eat the lamb um, that was was shed or, or died. And that night when the blood was on the doorpost, they had to eat the lamb. They ate all of it, every bit of it. And that just lets us know that when we take Jesus, we take all of him. Amen. And uh, so they were having the dinner and they were celebrating that. And Jesus in the middle of it says, gentlemen, I would like to explain to you what this is really all about. You know, you're, you're thinking this is all about a celebration, right. a tradition that was there right. because God set you free from Egypt. But I'm telling you, it's about something bigger than that. That is just a shadow of something that is to come Amen. because Jesus is the Lamb of God. John said when he saw Jesus, as John was baptized, and he pointed his finger and said, Behold, the Lamb of God, which takes away the sin of the world. And then the Revelations tells us that he was the lamb slain from the foundation 
of the world. So Jesus is saying to them, this isn't about a lamb in Egypt. This is about the lamb of God who's paying the price yes. for your redemption, not out of Egypt, but out of sin and out of bondage. Amen. Amen. And when that blood is applied to your life, nothing can get through it. Amen. That blood washes away our sins. He took the place that you and I might have life and have it more abundantly. Mm -hmm. So Jesus is saying, now as often as you do this, do this and remember to me. So he, he told them we're changing the format. Instead of you doing this to remember the lamb in Egypt, you're doing this to remember the lamb on Calvary, yes. the lamb that was slain on Calvary. Amen. 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 So that's what we're about to do tonight. We're about to celebrate what Christ did for us on Calvary. In the middle of it, Jesus said, let me explain to you what this is all about. And he took the bread. And if you'll take a piece of bread um, and lift it up and he blessed it. Father, we pray that you bless this bread, not only the bread, but that which it represents, the body of Jesus Christ, a back that was beaten, that we might be healed, bore stripes, that we might be healed, a, a head that wore a crown of thorns, that we might wear a crown of life, hands and feet and side that was pierced, that we might have life, a body that was destroyed, that we might be renewed. So I pray, God, tonight that you bless that which we're about to do. Bless this bread and that which it represents. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. He took the bread, he blessed it, he broke it and said, eat. This is my body which is broken for you. You may eat. Amen. Hallelujah. Then after that, he took the cup. And he said, this is my blood, which is shed for you. The blood of the everlasting covenant. Mm -hmm. It's not the blood about the blood on the doorpost. It's about the blood on your heart. Yes. It's about the Amen. blood that is applied. The songwriter said, what can wash away my sin? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, precious is thy flow. That makes me white as snow. Thank God for the blood of Jesus. So Jesus took the cup, and when he lifted it up, he said, Father, bless this, yes. the fruit of the vine, that which it represents in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And he said, this is my blood, the blood of the everlasting covenant. As often as you drink it, do remember to me, you can drink. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Father. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Thank you for Calvary. Thank you for the price you paid, that we are redeemed, we that we are justified, that we are sanctified. Amen. I pray, God, that you uh, bless everyone here, God, as we remember what you've done. Yes, Father. And God, we thank you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Now, we've just remembered, we just celebrated, like they did mm -hmm. celebrate in Egypt. We celebrated or the lamb that was slain in Egypt, we're celebrating the lamb that was slain on Calvary Amen. for our redemption and our freedom and liberty. Thank, Thank you, you for joining us tonight. We love you. We miss you so much. Amen. Guys, I love you all, and we do. We miss you terribly. Uh, we pray that you are blessed, and please know how much we love you, uh, and we're praying for you. All right, God bless you all. God bless. Love you.